to start here this second game of the series. Atlanta Kaki versus NCHC. Green, purple. Here we go. Underway for game number two between North Dakota and Holy Cross. Alex Seinert and Jake Brent with you in the booth. You're a little bit more comfortable playing as the last man back. The forwards get back to a different story. Kane now. Jammer to confront on top of the cage. Still loose. Kane there in the back of the net. Back to back games with a strike for Gavin Hayne. One nothing North Dakota. Usually it's this line that builds the momentum, but they're the recipients of the momentum that North Dakota was able to build. You see Jamernick going in front of the net here as they're trying to center it to it. The puck actually goes up on top of the net, and then it pops it out. And Gaber does, or uh, Gavin Hain does, just a good job of finding that puck when it falls off there. It gets poked off. You're going to see him come in right here, and he's able to just elevate a backhand on period. Nice face-off win. Johnson. Frisch one time. Ethan Frisch on the power play. Well, it's a great job. It's a set play that they look for. They get it up top. You get a, a little bit more separation and space. And all that Ethan Frisch has to do is try and get that puck on frame and through. It's a really hard save for a goaltender. Watch this. A good head fake there by Johnson just to give that Split second delay opens up Ethan Frisch a little bit. Frisch on the backhand, blocked aside. McLaughlin to Johnson. It comes to Frisch. Can he do it again? Gavin Hay can! Power play goal! Well, this is a case of just uh, wearing them down. Just a good job right there by Frisch, just going right to the front of the net there and able to find the back of the net on that one, but it was just pucks and bodies thrown from everywhere and Gavin Hayne go to the front of the net. You're going to pay a price, but you're going to get rewarded as well. So a good job there picking up that loose change. Has two goals tonight, but you're really liking the third line, which I like to call the freshman line tonight. Yeah, it seems that they've really hit their stride in the second period. They had a, had, had a couple great shifts with some end zone possession time and creating a lot of opportunities and scoring chances. How about that? <laughs> Finish up the scramble, and it's 4 nothing North Dakota. Good job by Jandrick on the back end again just to find Elbrecht in front. And not sure if this was played by anyone else, if Jandrick will get an assist on this, but watch the fighting that Elbrecht does right in front. Doesn't give up on it. The puck clink goes around. It's in his skates, and somehow it just trickles in. I, I'm not sure where this goal is. Sure, it hit off of a skate and deflected in. Yep. Season confrontation in college hockey with two national title contenders both game one and game two live here on Midco Sports And that is how the shutout ends